We made many mistakes after independence. But one of the biggest mistakes we made after independence is letting our railway system go to waste. That is why when I came to office in 2017, I said everything that was possible to be done to revive the railway system in our country, I am going to do it. And I'm going to find the money, I'm going to find the resources to revive the railway system in Ghana. The Western Railway Line reaches from Takwade to Kumase, with a branch line from Dunkwa to Awaso, used to be the major route for the transportation of major minerals and other bulk commodities like manganese, bauxite, cocoa, timber, cement, petroleum products, among others. The haulage of such bulk commodities on the line reduces the challenge of using road transport which causes road deterioration. Unfortunately, due to several decades of neglect and underfunding, the Westing Line is completely broken down except for partial freight services on the Takarade in Suta section which is used for the haulage and export of manganese through the Takarade port. Government has adopted a systematic approach to gradually develop the Westing Railway Line as part of the new standard gauge railway network in accordance with the Railway Master Plan. The construction of the new Westing Railway Line is currently ongoing between Kojokrom and Manso by Mrs. Aman D. Holden Limited with funding by the Government of Ghana. The project involves the construction of a single line with a route length of 22 kilometers. It also includes the construction of a major railway bridge at Esim, spanning about 320 meters, as well as 50 culverts along the route. The line, when completed, is expected to boost the haulage capacity of the Ghana Railway Company Limited for the transportation of minerals from the mines to the port of Takrade for export. The project has two railway stations and one halt. The ASEAN Railway Station, the Manso Station and the Angu Halt. In July 2022, His Excellency President Ikufuadu cut sword at Manso in the western region to mark the commencement of construction works on the Takrade port, Manso to Huni Valley section, as part of the continuation of the Western Railway Line Development Project. This section of the line covers a distance of about 78 kilometers and is being financed under a credit facility secured by government from the Deutsche Bank of Sweden. The scope of works for the project include the construction of approximately 70 kilometers of single track standard gauge railway line from Manso to Huni Valley with connectivity to the Insuta Manganese Mine. The construction of eight railway stations at Amantin, Benso, Eswaso, Bonsire, Insuta, Takwa, Bompieso and Huni Valley. The construction of 10 kilometers of loop lines and double lines at the stations to improve availability of the line for express trains and give priority to passengers over cargo trains during operations. The conversion of 10.6 kilometers of dual gauge tracks from narrow gauge to standard gauge between Takrade and Kojo Krum. The construction of approximately 8 kilometers of a new standard gauge railway line 
from the Takrada station to the Takrada port in order to have a continual standard gauge connection from the port to the Insuta manganese mines and other mines to facilitate the efficient haulage of minerals.